Hello, my friends. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Are you glad? Are you having a good day? I pray that you are and that you will have an even better weekend. The weekend is here. It is here. And we're going into another holiday. Uh, as you all know, I think I must have mentioned it. I believe I did. Uh, Rosh Hashanah began 10 days of awe and it went to Yom Kippur. And then now at sundown on this coming Sunday, we'll begin uh, seven days of Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles. And so we wish all of our, our um, brothers and our sisters in the Jewish faith, a happy holiday, and I pray that it will be a blessing to you and your family as you celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles, the booths, Sukkot. So, um, so here we are, and it is the 27th week of Ordinary Time. I want to go ahead and read from the lectionary, which is our custom, and I'm going to read for you. Let's see here. I'm going to read um, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. My comments are going to be very brief today. So get the scripture, get the word of God, and I'll wait for a second. 2 Timothy, you need it again? 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. I'll read it, make a very brief comment, and then we'll rest and we'll stop together. Amen receives from Revelation. So here it is in your reading, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 1 through 14, and it reads thusly, Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, for the sake of the promise of life that is in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my beloved child, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus, our Lord. I am grateful to God, whom I worship with a clear conscience, as my ancestors did, when I remember you constantly in my prayers night and day. Recalling your tears, I long to see you so that I may be filled with joy. I am reminded of your sincere faith, a faith that lived first in your grandmother Lois, and your mother Eunice, and now I am sure lives in you. For this reason, I am remi I remind you to rekindle the gift of God that is within you through the laying on of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather a spirit of power and of love and of self discipline. Do not be ashamed then of the testimony about our Lord or of me, his prisoner, but join with me in suffering for the gospel, relying on the power of God who saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace. This grace was given to us in Christ Jesus before the ages began, but it has now been revealed through the appearing of our savior, Christ Jesus, who abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. For this gospel, I was appointed a herald and an apostle and a teacher. And for this reason, I suffer as I do. But I am not ashamed, for I know the one in whom I have put my trust. And I am sure that he is able to guard until that day what I have entrusted to you. To him, to him, what I have entrusted to him. Hold to the standard of sound teaching that you have heard from me. 
in the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Guard the good treasure entrusted to you with the help of the Holy Spirit living in us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. So we have this scripture. Scholars debate as to who wrote it. We're going to say that it was written by the Apostle Paul to his protege, Timothy. And this is the point that I'm going to make. It's that part. Rekindle the faith. Come on. Now. Rekindle the faith. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's blow some oxygen on this. Fan that flame. Let's get that faith moving. Let's get that faith moving. We want that faith to grow and to rise up, right? We want that faith. Rekindle the gift of God. This is a faith that Paul is saying. He's like, look, I laid my own hands on you, right? Come on. I know you have the gift of faith. And that that gift was given to you by your grandmother who was a, a great woman of faith, by your own mother who was a woman of faith. Come on here, Timothy. Come on. Rekindle the gift. And my friends, that is the word to all of us that God wants us to have a faith in him like none other. Faith that burns. A faith that we know comes from him. And yes, it comes from those who have taught us. Those who have instructed us in the word. The relationships that we have with others. With our our mothers and fathers and our pastors and those people who have built faith in us, right? Our mentors, those people who have built the faith of Jesus Christ into us. We want to rekindle the gift of God. And here, guard the good treasure entrusted to you with the help of the Holy Spirit living in us. Come on, come on, the Holy Spirit, huh? fire. He is the flame. He is the one. And so my friends, I just want to encourage you as you go into this weekend of rest. Yeah. Let's just ask the Lord to please rekindle that gift in us that we may shine bright. <laughs> Look, shine all around us day and by night. Right. Jesus is the light of the world. And we, we want to live in that light and be be powered, be powered by the spirit. And then when we do that, right, then we can't, God hasn't given us a spirit of fear. There's the fear, you know, he hasn't given us cowardice, spirit of fear, right? But power, love, the love that is shown in Jesus Christ and self-discipline. Some some translations say, I'm a sound mind, sound mind. So, oh yes, yes, Lord, we give you praise. And we give you glory. So let's let's rest and stop in that together. Let us rest and stop together. Eternal and all wise God, our Father, we thank you for time in your word. We thank you for the words of the apostle. We believe it to be words from Paul to Timothy. And Lord, even as we pass on, the torch even as we pass on our faith to others we ask lord that you would that you would empower us by your spirit to be people sons and daughters in the faith we give you praise we give you glory and we thank you for the gift we thank you for the gift it's in jesus name we pray Amen. My friends, I pray that you have a blessed weekend. Go in the strength of the Lord and be empowered by God this weekend. And I will see you all at the next Resto. Bye.